Good afternoon, folks. Let's do some analysis on the coronal mass ejection heading for Earth from this morning's long duration X class solar flare. As we saw this morning, there was a clear halo CME produced from the event. This indicates that the CME is heading for Earth and will impact. We'll go over the likely impact times and geomagnetic storm conditions. We said this morning we would update when the Enlil spiral is updated, and now we not only have NASA and NOAA's, but a new one as well. NASA shows the CME impact directly hitting the Earth, as expected, and so does NOAA's. They are both showing impact early UTC time on the 25th, Monday, so the range would be from Sunday night through Monday. The sooner it hits, the stronger it will be. We also have a look at the Zeus model. This one is a separate program, and where it shows that same Earth impact in the same time frame, it bolsters confidence in the forecast. That one, by the way, is only found on the ISWA web app. Now, NOAA is forecasting KP6, a level 2 geomagnetic storm, but I wanted to give a broader probabilities forecast, so this impact, which is due Sunday night or sometime on Monday, will almost certainly produce geomagnetic unrest or low-level storm activity. There's almost a 50-50 chance of the KP7 and 8 range, which would be a strong to severe storm condition, with a marginal chance for a major solar storm, KP9. It has been 20 years since the last one. We'll be here watching closely to see how it all plays out, but it's also worth noting two things here. The solar radiation storm is now the strongest of the solar cycle. I will extend what we saw in the morning show where the X-flare lit up the subsolar point, and then the polar region began taking those protons. The proton storm is now at a point where it is causing a full polar cap absorption event, and this significant event almost at level three, combined with the high level of continued solar flaring, look how many more M-class flares we've had, is a recipe for major heat waves. While there is no way to tell at this time where on earth those will be, in the next three to 10 days, we are almost certain to have a record-breaking heat wave event somewhere. I'll be monitoring the sun all evening here for more activity, and I'll see you in the morning for the daily show. Be safe, everyone.